Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and in today's topic we are going to discuss how to use Wireshark to capture and analyze packets on Cisco, Juniper, Nokia or any vendor routers that are deployed in the EVNG. I have already provided the steps to install Wireshark and if you guys want to check, you can check my previous video. In my previous video, I have given this uh, Windows client pack which has integrate uh, comes with the uh, Wireshark and also a wrapper so it will automatically uh, open the Wireshark when you click on the uh, EVNG GUI. Let me explain you. And second, uh, once you install the uh, Wireshark uh, from the uh, client pack, after this you, are, you need to make sure that the username and password uh, during the first deployment uh, is uh, same as root and evng in case if uh, the set pa the password is changed then you have to update this in this particular uh, if uh, folder uh, which is available in the program files evng under this you can find this wireshark wrapper dot bat file open it and then you can you'll be able to change the uh, password here then you will be able to access the wireshark using the evng okay let me uh, show you the topology and in my previous top, uh, video, I have uh, deployed the Cisco router. So I'm using the Cisco router and I configured basic IP connectivity and uh, basic OSPF neighborship with them. And I made uh, a few, one change uh, in the uh, router one and router two so that the OSPF uh, will not come up. And we are going to debug the OSPF, uh, or, you know, uh, troubleshooting. We are going to debug using Wireshark and how to, uh, you know, identify the issue. Let me quickly show the configuration. Low SPF neighbor is down. Sorry, uh, it is up. Uh, the configuration was not saved. So I'm going to tweak the small parameter so that the OSPF will go down. Then we will debug using Wireshark and verify how to fix it. Sorry, it is zero slash zero. This clapped it, you can see that my OSPF is stuck with extract. Yes, both sides is stuck with extract. So we further use the Y shack. And do the analysis. First let's capture, then we will do the analysis. You simply have to right click here and it will give an option to capture then click click on capture then you will be uh, popped up with the interface connected to the uh, router r1 then whichever the interface is connected to the uh, ne uh, next router then you can click on that interface then the wireshark will open automatically and then uh, you'll be able to capture the packets now have the cap packet packet capture now here you can see that you have allow packets and all the packets are going between the routers and it's good to uh, you know have Wireshark to you know for the debugging because you can uh, able to view all the uh, control plane packets 
and debug it and then you'll be able to identify like what is going on between the routers in each protocol in case if you want to do uh, you know ospf or any dynamic protocol which is running which are passing the hello packets and the message uh, you know messages that get getting exchanged between the routers uh, those you'll be able to uh, identify then you can understand like how the protocol is working second so i captured both the packets from the routers So it's a human reader, easy, uh, you know, uh, human readable format in Washak. So it can just view and identify it. I use mostly in my troubleshooting time. So here you can see there's a IP packet and say like IP version 4 and IGP OSPF IGP. Then here you can see. Let me bring it down this packet. Yes. Both. Here you can see what is the header. And what is the OSP of person? What is the router ID? Because already hello packet has been shared between the router, so it knows that who's the neighbor. So source who's the source router and what is the area ID and everything you can see in the OSP of header. Then LDP uh, sorry uh, LDP descript database description. Here you can see the MTU. Here one router MTU is 1400 and another end of the router MTU is 1500. So uh, so using this that you no know, we found that the MTU is mismatch. So we go and correct the MTU to bring the neighborship up. So this is how you need to use the uh, Wireshark capability to capture the control plane and uh, you know increase your uh, you know troubleshooting with the Wireshark. And it will help you in many times because when we get uh, you know when we don't have any clues during our uh, you know troubleshooting, then Wireshark will help us to identify the issue most of the time. And uh, and I would like to say thanks everyone for watching the video. Uh, in case if you like to, uh, you know, share, you can share with your friends and do comment and like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for uh, listening to the video. Thank you guys.